Yo, what's up, YouTube? I hope yeah, you are doing very good. So, yeah, I'm another lens back again with another video. It's been a while, I've been, I think it's been a while. I haven't have posted a video out here for so many reasons, and uh, yeah, people are. I've got a few uh, DMs on my Instagram, which is linked here. So, I'm another lens. People asking me why I haven't been posting. So, and uh, it comes down to one simple factor that I kind of lost motivation. I mean, with this pandemic going on, it's very easy, you know, just sit on yourself, uh, depress a little bit and just uh, not care about anything. Uh -oh. By the way, this is the new setup that I'm trying. I have a screen down here, which you can't see, just helping me, you know, to position myself, center myself right now. I know I'm in the center of this picture. So, um, but just to, uh, to go back to what I was saying, so I haven't posted in a while, especially some of these uh, headshot blog type of video where I I talk to you guys about things that I do, about this channel, about uh, uh, my creative work and stuff like that. One of the reasons was that I lost motivation and I think in this time that's very, very uh, trying for everyone and uh, very difficult for everyone, creative juice can kind of run out, you know, can dry out. And uh, it's one of the reasons that I haven't been able to, you know, keep myself consistent because I, I at least I try to upload once uh, once a week or twice if really time time uh, time allows for it but right now you know with this pandemic you can't create as much content i don't have any clients right now because uh we can't uh, social distancing basically so we need to keep the distance and everything so one of the reasons why i haven't been able to put work out there and one of the reasons that it's kind of not helping me uh in my creative juice has also been that so, but without that being said, there are a few things that you can do as a as a creative to keep yourself motivated. Uh, motivation comes and go, and that's very much normal. So those are my these are my five tips to keep yourself motivated, and uh, they work for me um, in most cases. Uh, not always, but in most cases, these are things that I do to to keep myself motivated and uh, to allow me to come out of that state of you know. Uh, creative numbness if i can say call it that way so these are the five tips that i will uh I use and i will probably i'm sharing with you guys just to keep you uh, creative i scripted this because i really wanted it to be something uh, very well said and very well reasoned so i've put everything on my ipad so that i can uh, start of it and be able to you know uh, give you a proper concise way of how I do my things. So the first tip is try something different till you find your creative routine. So this doesn't mean that you have to completely try something different all the times. I mean, doesn't mean that you have to, uh, you know, learn every new skills and streak in your creative field so that your 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 work is gonna look different all the time but it just means that you change trick it a little bit until you, you get to the point where you're satisfied with your work and the public your audience is also satisfied with the work that you are putting out there so this comes down to saying this or this comes back to saying that you know for example for me to do this youtube video i have my lights that need to look a certain way uh, for example on my face i need the lights to to, to hate me a certain you know it's a certain faces and I like this highlight and stuff like that so that people identify this video to, to me. I mean, I'm still trying these new setup things and probably it looks different from the video, the precedent video, so on and so on. But it, this is probably one setup that I will go with. So you have to iterate all the time to get to the point where you, you, you feel comfortable with your work as well as uh, you get to the point where people are going to be identifying your work without even asking so so many questions about finding who's the author and stuff like that so the consistency that you're going to create uh, by the routine that you've been applying for so many times or for so long is going to become really a core of your work and that is very important so that's the first tip that i use and uh, that i'm trying to develop the way that i'm creating my work and the second one is uh, schedule short work you know try to work on short small project because sometimes we we like that elephant in the room we, we like that big project that will uh, we think blow blow everybody's minds away and uh, put us to the forefront you know bring it out bring it bring it with a bang that doesn't always work like that i mean we work you have to keep 
to you for you to keep being motivated for you to keep being consistent you definitely have to uh, be able to to create short work that will not only allow you to work over a long period of time you know keep producing work but it also will help you sharpen your skills i mean if you for example you're doing photo editing and uh, you just for example want to work on an editorial straight on it will be better that you start working on a smaller projects, small photo shoots that will allow you, for example, to get that style. So it links back even to the first one about your routine becoming uh, your mantra about the way you work. So that's very important. That is something that I think all creatives should have in mind, doing short, small, periodic work that will allow them to sharpen the skills and, uh, you know, help them keep being motivated. That's very important. So that was the second uh, tips. And then the third one is, get a revisit reference work i mean there are a lot of uh creative who inspire us and that's very important to have people that inspire us so that we we can uh, aim for better things for bigger things uh on top of my head there are a few youtubers here that i think are doing an amazing job and uh, i've referenced them probably in some of my videos in the past but just to bring them up again, you have Daniel Shepard who does amazing commercials, very short commercials, but uh, but he, he does them very frequently as well. You see, so this is someone who does them very frequently and that's how he sharpened his skill to get to the point where he is right now because he's really, really killing it in that game. And I think he's doing an amazing job with the work uh, that he's putting out there. So Daniel Shepard as well and Peter McKinnon, uh, who's something who's, who's someone i always admire a lot on youtube uh, for his work uh, so those are people that if you are in your creative field you can look to uh, those other people just to keep yourself as well uh, motivated and the fourth one being uh, sharing your work i mean youtube is a sharing platform where people watch videos for free and uh, i like the monetization uh, system that is that it comes with it because it allows creative to work of uh, to live off the work as well uh, as well as uh, you know putting your work out there there are a lot of social media platform where you can put your work uh, i just discovered one deviant deviant out lately didn't even know much about it but it's kind of also very good you got instagram uh, facebook is not so much of a sharing platform for really work created behance which really from adobe behance is probably one of the very professional one where you can uh, get uh, your perspective and, uh, and things like that and the fifth one this one is always with me and it doesn't necessarily apply for those who are starting but i think in the long run when you want to get out of this if i say cocoon of uh, you being like a hobbyist doing this as a hobby to a point where you want to make a livelihood out of this is getting paid for your work and this is probably the elephant in the room and this is something that need to be spoken about a lot of creatives are not making enough money because they're doing a lot of favors and uh, favors don't put food on the table favors don't buy gears you know lights uh, mic cameras monitors uh, tech stuff are very expensive and the higher the, the highest the production you want to get to the more money you're probably going to have to spend uh, as much as we say the gear doesn't make the artist but it is true that if you want to shoot 4k that camera is going to cost you a certain a certain amount of money that uh, you want it you want you will need to have clean paying clients for you to get to that level because free work will keep you hungry um that is just it i mean and if, and just to touch on that uh uh on those freebies you know and in this uh in, in terms of what is free actually when you're doing free work we need to be able to <clears throat> break it down to a point where you are not ruining yourself because i feel like a lot of creative uh, are taking advantage of when it comes to free stuff just for exposure that the word that people say you know exposure exposure doesn't put food on the table so even if you're doing something just for exposure you need to have a certain agreement with that person for example in terms of transport and the food and other stuff so that you don't ruin yourself you're not gonna go to a photo shoot for someone who's asking for a favor and then that person is letting you pay for that photo shoot and is not even feeding you and you know that you're just wasting your money you're wasting your time so you have to be able to get paid for your work. So those are the five tips that I personally use and that are very important, I think, 
uh, that all creators should keep in mind when they losing motivation about the work, you know, uh, just to go over them very quickly to replace trying something new, try something new until it becomes your routine, your creative routine. The second one is schedule short work that will help you hone your skill. The third one is, uh, you know, revisit your reference work. Some of those people that uh, you aspire to and some of those people that uh, have been killing it in the game. The uh, fourth one is share your work with other people, especially uh, those who are in the creative industry that will help you a lot and make money for your work. So this was the man and the lens for this video. Really uh, appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and give it a like. That's very important for you know the algorithm on uh, YouTube just to keep uh, this channel recommended to people and then let it grow so that we can create amazing content for you and uh, you know get you more creative and more motivated. See you in the next one. Thank you.